Are you ready for mobility moves to get rid of that stiffness and tension? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and that's exactly what we were doing in today's class. Three exercises that I've also have been working on myself that have made a world of difference from head to toe. They're perfect if you want to do them before or after a workout, in the middle of the day if you've been stuck behind your computer, or you can do them in the morning or in the evening to get rid of any of that tension. Go grab your mats and let's do this. Okay, the first exercise, let's get started. Come down onto your back and just find a comfortable position. So all of these moves, we are incorporating multiple different body parts. I love combos. <laughs> all right, take a nice breath in, just check in. How does everything feel? Exhale, let it go. We're gonna start to roll onto our right hand side. And then you're gonna pull that left knee in towards your chest. So you're not completely on your side, but just like halfway on your right side. Pull the left leg in so you can grab behind the back of your knee. You can reach for the outside edge of your foot. But we're trying to take that leg and pull the knee down towards our shoulder. Take a breath in here. Really send the breath down to that pelvic floor. Exhale, slowly let it go. We'll let go of that left leg. The left leg is gonna fall behind your right leg. Start to keep rolling onto your right hand side. Prop yourself up onto your right forearm. Take the left arm, open up half cactus, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then we'll spin everything back down. So either coming down onto the left forearm or your hand. Now that back left leg, we're gonna lift the left leg up like you're trying to put your foot flat on the ground. You're rotating from your hip. And then bring that leg back down. We'll lower back down onto our side. And then pull that left knee in towards your chest. Left knee down towards your shoulder. You can grab the outside edge of that foot, either one. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take that left leg behind your right foot. Keep rolling onto your right hand side. Take the left arm, open up half cactus. Keep pressing into the right forearm. We don't want to sink down into that shoulder. Bring that arm back down. You're gonna take your left leg, peel that left hip open like the foot's coming down towards the ground, rotating from your hip. And then bring the leg back down, lower down onto that right hand side, pull the left knee back in towards your chest again, left knee towards your shoulder, grab the outer edge of that foot, take a nice breath in, and then exhale, let it go. Good, you'll take that left leg behind your right, prop yourself up onto that forearm, open up half cactus. We're gonna go through this one more time on this side. Bring that arm back down. Left knee opens towards the sky. You're trying to keep that foot down on the ground, rotating from the hip, and you'll also feel those muscles start to fire up as well. Bring that leg back down. Come down onto that right hand side. This is our last time through, pull the left knee in, Grab behind the back, that outside edge of the foot. I love this because we're working on our hips and our mid-back, and that's so important for our pelvic floor. Take that leg behind. Press yourself. Come all the way back up. Take your left forearm. Open up towards the sky. Half cactus. Spin that. Come back down. Take the left leg. Open up from that hip. Bring that leg back down. And then... We're just gonna do a switcheroo to the other side. So you can start on your back. You can stay on that same side. I'm just turning to face you guys. You can stay on that back. We're gonna start to roll just a little bit to the left-hand side and notice how the two sides feel a little different right now. Pull that left knee in towards your chest. Grab, oh my goodness. Grab behind the back of that knee. Grab the outside edge of that foot. Oh. I lifted, I had taken a little time off from lifting. I lifted the other day, Ooh, a little tight. Take a breath in here. I know I'll feel good after these <laughs> mobility moves. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna take that right leg, scoot your right leg behind your left. Prop yourself, come up onto the left forearm. Really press into the forearm, open up half cactus with the right arm. Spin everything back down towards the ground. You're going to take your right leg, peel that right hip open. Is it different than the other side? Slowly lower the right leg back down. Come back down onto your side. 
as we pull right knee in, grab behind the back, maybe the outer edge of that foot. We send the breath all the way down to the pelvic floor. Nice job. Let go of that leg, bring it behind. Press yourself, come up, left forearm, open up half cactus. Spin everything back down, take that right leg, open your right leg up. And we're breathing to the sides, the front, the back of the rib cage, bring it back down. Come back down onto that left side, pull that knee in toward your chest, grab behind that back, maybe that outer edge of your foot, take a breath, send it all the way down. Exhale, let it go. Keep rolling onto your side. Come all the way up. Open up, half cactus. Nice breath. Spin everything back down towards the ground. Roll that right hip open. Drop it back down. Lower down, left hand side. Pull that knee in towards your chest. Grab hold. And notice how each time through you're continuing to open up. Maybe you can go a little further. Maybe it doesn't feel as tight. Our breath is so connected. Keep rolling onto that side to how our muscles are feeling. It helps calm our nervous system down, open up. Sometimes our nervous system is what's causing all that tightness that we're feeling. Bring that right arm down, open your right leg up towards the sky. And that movement is coming from that hip. Slowly bring it back down. One more time through, you're doing great. Come all the way down. Pull that right knee in, grab behind the back. Maybe grab that outer edge. Take a nice gentle breath in. Ooh, exhale, let it go. Keep rolling onto that left hand side. Press yourself, come up. Open half cactus. Spin everything back down. Take that right leg, open up your right hip and then bring that back down. Awesome job. All right, here we go with our second mobility move. Pull yourself, come up onto your knees, and we're gonna take our right leg and bring your right leg out to the side. It's like we're coming into a kneeling warrior two. That left shin is facing behind and you're pressing down into the top. We're gonna take our right knee and really drive your right knee forward over those toes, thinking of those hips going in opposite directions. Take your right forearm to your thigh, or your right hand to your hip and take that left arm, reach your left arm overhead. And we're gonna really send our breath into the left side of the rib cage. Maybe you use the forearm to help kind of scoot that right knee forward just a little bit more. And then pull yourself, come back, left hand to your hip, right arm overhead, breathe into that right side of your rib cage. And we're gonna move in and out of this. So your pace might be a little faster than mine, a little slower than mine. Go with your breath and go what feels best for opening up our hips and getting that rib cage to open. One thing you wanna check in is to make sure you're not really overarching from your back. So keep that rib cage over your pelvis and follow your breath. If one position feels really good, you can stay there, hold your breath. Relax that tension. Nice job. Moving in and out. For three, two, and we're gonna see how this side feels different than our other side. Last one. Nice work. Right leg comes back in, and then we'll take that left leg, scoot your left leg out. We're going to take your left knee, drive that left knee forward over your toes, press down into the top of that right shin, left hand to your hip, left forearm to your thigh, pull that right side of your rib cage back. We're stacking a rib cage over your pelvis. Take your right arm up overhead and really breathe into that right side of your rib cage. And you're not sinking into the forearm, but you're pressing down into it almost like you're doing a side plank. So yes, these are mobility moves, but we're also working in strengthening in different positions. Push that left foot down into the ground, spread your toes. Pull yourself, come back up, press into that left foot, right hand to your hip, left arm over towards the side. And then pull yourself, come back up. Now again, you can go at your own pace. You can linger in one position if it feels a little better. And if this is uncomfortable on your knees, you could always do the same exact thing standing. We're getting our hips moving side to side. We're opening up the inner thigh. We're opening up our rib cage. 
and continuing to connect with our breath and the pelvic floor. Nice job. For three, two, nice job. Last one. Great. And come back up from there. And then we're going to make our way up to standing. Just take your time getting there. And we're going to move our feet apart, coming into a wide angle. So move them as far as it feels comfortable. We're going to start on the right hand side. You're going to take your entire right leg and just rotate the leg in. So it's not just turning the foot inward, inward movement coming from that hip. We're going to bend the right knee, sink your hips back almost like you're thinking of taking your sit bones and tapping the wall behind you. Left hand comes to your hip or your outer knee and we're opening up this left thigh. So really press that leg down to the ground. Take your right arm, lift your right arm open towards the sky. Take a breath in here and then you're gonna push into the right leg, pull yourself, come back up. We're moving in and out of this. Hips go back, left hand to the outside, take that right arm to the sky and then bring it back. Take that right arm lift up. So we're working on some internal rotation in this right hip, really important for our back, our pelvic floor, opening up that left inner thigh and getting some trunk rotation. Two more times on this side, sink the hips back, take that right arm to the sky, nice breath in, and then press, come back up. Last one, we're gonna hold down here, two breaths, nice breath in. Really think of sending your breath down to your sit bones, your low back. Exhale, slowly let it go. Awesome, one more breath. And your gaze can be up, it can be down, whatever feels most comfortable. Pull yourself, come back up. Take the right leg, turn it to face the side. Left leg is gonna rotate all the way in, so it's not just the foot. We're gonna send our hips back. Ooh, I feel a stretch with just that. <laughs> Notice, left side, right side, what's different? Right hand comes to the outside of that left leg. Take the left arm, spin it open, take a breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Push into your left foot, pull yourself, come back up. Sink those hips back, right hand to the outer left thigh, left arm lifts to the sky. And then pull yourself, come back up. Make sure you're relaxing those toes. Keep pressing through that right leg, pull, come back up two more times. Sink those hips back, rotate from that chest. Pull yourself, come back up, awesome. Last one, bend that left knee, left arm to the sky, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more breath. And exhale, slowly let it go. Straighten out through that left leg. And then just heel toe those feet or step them back together and check in. Notice all of the openness you created in the hips, in your mid back. See that connection with the breath coming all the way down, lengthening the pelvic floor muscles. Let's take one more last cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Thanking your body for your practice. If you really enjoyed this mobility routine, you are going to love this one. Until next time, namaste. Namaste.